the amount and scale of cyber attacks and data breaches in recent years is staggering. So in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the most common cyber security attacks in 2023, break down how they work, and understand how to protect yourself against these attacks in 2024. The five most common cyber attacks are phishing, ransomware, DDoS, SQL injection, and malware. Let's start with DDoS attacks. One of the more popular tropes in movies, DDoS is an abbreviation for distributed denial of service. In a DDoS attack, multiple compromised computer systems attack a single target such as a server or a website, overloading it and causing a denial of services for other users. A DDoS attack can disrupt any service connected to the internet such as networks, databases, mobile devices, and even specific application functions. As a result, a DDoS attack can lead to significant operational, financial, and reputational damages. Unlike phishing and malware, there's no one simple way to prevent a DDoS attack. Not only are companies constantly under attack, the scale and frequency of these attacks have gotten exponentially larger over the years too. In 2022, Google blocked what it called the largest DDoS attack ever executed. The very next year, another DDoS attack took place against Google, except this one was seven and a half times larger in volume than the previous. There's three broad kinds of DDoS attacks, volume-based, protocol and network layer-based, and application layer-based attacks. Volume-based attacks direct an overwhelming amount of traffic at web resources. The magnitudes of these attacks is measured in bits per second. There's also further kinds of volume attacks, like ICMP flood attacks, UDP flood attacks, or other spoofed packet attacks. Number two, protocol or network layer DDoS attacks. Protocol or network layer DDoS attacks direct a high volume of packets at management tools and network infrastructure. The volume of these attacks is measured in packets per second, or PPS. These type of attacks include SYN floods, Smurf DDoS attacks, and Number three, application layer attacks. Application layer DDoS attacks, also known as a layer seven attack, target the top layer of the open systems interconnection model or the OSI. The attacker aims to overwhelm a target server or network infrastructure by sending a massive volume of malicious requests or traffic that appear legitimate at the application layer where high traffic packet requests occur like HTTP, GET and HTTP POST. To protect against DDoS attacks, experts recommend companies employ DDoS protection services and manage network infrastructure so that it can handle unexpected traffic spikes. One great way to have your cybersecurity basics covered is by undertaking a cybersecurity audit. This could be NIST 8153, NIST CSF, SOC 2, ISO 27001, and much more. And if you're looking to get compliant with any kind of framework, look no further than compliance automation in Sprinto. Sprinto helps companies get compliant with over 15 plus frameworks by digitizing and automating the compliance process. This means that you can get compliant faster and more effectively and stay compliant too, year round instead of during an audit cycle, improving your cybersecurity. Companies just like yours that get compliant with Sprinto save up to 80% of their time, effort, and cost during the compliance process. To know more, visit Sprinto.com or book a demo directly with our cybersecurity and compliance experts using the link in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.